Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be replacing all the top end gaskets on this BMW R75-5. So as you can see, the cylinder base gasket is leaking. The head gasket actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not leaking, I guess. And the valve cover is also not leaking. But since the cylinder base is leaking, we're gonna replace all these. And the pushrod seals, the pushrod seals under here, these rubber pieces right there, are also leaking pretty bad. So I'm gonna have everything required to complete this job linked below in the description. The first thing we're going to do is undo this valve cover. So two 10 millimeter nuts on the back side of the valve cover here. Also a 13 millimeter nut right here. So we're gonna, and then this whole valve cover should just pull right off. We'll get our spark plug out of here and set the bike to top dead center. Um, one other thing I forgot to explain is that this procedure is going to apply to every single BMW airhead. And then we'll set our bike to top dead center. You can see in our window, in our timing window right here, it's on top and both of our valves here, both of our valves have play so we know we're at top dead center compression. We can then use an exhaust wrench, which I will have linked below, and we'll get this exhaust off. Oh, sometimes this can be a real pain. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And then on both sides, we can undo our muffler clamps down here. Just a 13 millimeter socket, depending on what model you're doing this on. And then with a dead blow mallet, we're just going to kind of gently tap our exhaust right off. Now with the exhaust out of the way, we will go ahead and remove our carburetor on our left side. So to remove that, there's one hose clamp here, here, and here. So four hose clamps total. And then we can just pull kind of straight out get this elbow out of here set that aside then we're just going to get our carburetor we can go ahead and loosen our cylinder head so to do that there's one two three four five and then another one right below here and those are 14 millimeter nuts right here the rockers should just slide right off Pull our push rods out here, exhaust side, intake side. There's washers under those two outside bolts. Pull our cylinder head right off. Pull our head gasket off. And then pull our cylinder straight out. You can see the, uh, the piston there has a hole kind of going through it. Run a zip tie through the wrist pin. And then zip tying the piston up. Now what we're gonna do, there's gonna be a gasket right here. Some bikes do not have this gasket right here. Other bikes just have an O-ring. We can now go ahead and kind of clean up our cylinder and everything. So under here, this doesn't look too bad, but we're just gonna wanna wipe all that oil off, kind of clean everything up. Our rockers here, you're gonna wanna check these for like freedom of movement, make sure everything's all, moves all kosher and everything, kind of wipe everything down. So we're gonna get these all cleaned up and then uh, get going back together. This part's a little more difficult. So I got the cylinder and everything cleaned up. I used a little bit of RTV silicone to stick the cylinder base gasket to the base of the cylinder. What I'm gonna do here, this is a piston ring compressor. This one right here is honestly just a pretty inexpensive one from Amazon. I have the new push rod seals and the base gasket on there with a very thin layer of RTV silicone, which will pretty much prevent 
something like this from happening happening ever again. So we're gonna line, make sure we hold good pressure on our piston rings and just push the cylinder right on, making sure our push rod seals land right in our holes. I got the holes nice and cleaned up. Everything else is nice cleaned up. There's no oil or anything on it. And we're just gonna kinda push this all on in one nice motion, just like that. Our push rod seals are all lined up. We're gonna go straight on. Slide our head gasket on and I just smeared a very thin layer of silicone around this entire gasket to ensure this problem will never happen again. And then we're going to make sure that our exhaust side is facing our exhaust. I believe you could put this on upside down, but you'd probably notice something's wrong once the uh, carburetor's not lining up for the exhaust. We'll drop our push rods in, gr grab our rockers, slide those over, grab our rocker nuts. And you can see on this, there's that shoulder there. We're gonna want the shoulder facing towards the uh, cylinder head, just like it was when we took it apart. So we'll go ahead and tighten up our rocker nuts in a kind of crisscross pattern. We can then reinstall our carburetor Super simple, kind of just like we took it off. We just kind of put all this stuff on at once and then just pivot, pivot it together like that and then go ahead and tighten up. Now we are going to do the exact same thing to the right side. So we're gonna get this side to top dead center compression. So right now there's pressure on both these valves. We're gonna rotate the engine 360 degrees get this cylinder to top dead center compression, take the carburetor off, get the head off, clean everything up, put it back together, and then we're gonna go ahead, get our exhaust and everything on. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I have all sorts of videos like this that can help you with various things, regardless of what make or model BMW you have. Um, so I'm just gonna fast forward through all this, but let's get to it. We can now go ahead and reinstall our head pipes. So to reinstall our head pipes, super simple. We're just gonna kinda work the exhaust kinda the same way we took it apart, but we're gonna get it into these ports. But then we're also gonna wanna pay relatively close attention to make sure our head pipes go into our muffler down here. So we're just gonna kinda work back and forth from each side to side to make sure it's all dialed in here. Now we can go ahead and apply a special anti-seize. And then we can reinstall our spark plugs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the engine with the valve covers off, just to make sure that um, we're getting oil pressure up to the rocker arms here. So I'll walk you through that in a second once we get both our spark plugs tightened down and our plugs installed. If you choose to put like a film of silicone around all your gaskets, there's a chance that when you tighten everything up, if you put too much on, that silicone can like ooze out and plug an oil passage or something. So we're gonna just run the bike up and uh, see how she's, see what kind of oil pressure she has. So you can see with the bike idling, we got uh, oil oozing out of the rockers here, dripping down onto the ground. So everything there is looking good. We have now verified that the bike has oil pressure and it runs very well. So we're gonna go ahead, button our valve covers back on and uh, get this thing test drove and brought back to the customer. So now if you enjoyed this video, or if this video helped you out in any way, please consider um, subscribing to my channel 
Also, please remember to like this video. Thank you very much. Have a safe ride.